What is the crack lads and welcome back to another player pack review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Portugal national team pack. Lads, I'm going to come out and say it right. I think this is the best bang for your buck that you can get for 900 coins at the moment with the player packs, right? It puts it in line with the Belgium, Netherlands, Spain, and England and Germany national team packs. And obviously it's nearly half, well, it's just over, um, well, these are 1500, so they're not, it's not double the price, but they're just slightly under double the price of these. Um, I do think that the French pack, if you don't have Neymar or Messi, I will be doing a video on these quite soon. I've been, you know, there's a lot of newcomers and a lot of guys downloading the, the game that have never played it before and wondering what the best pack is. So I'm going to do a newcomers guide because i'm getting a lot of questions on that but it also puts the 900 coins it puts it in range with these club packs as well which i think these three packs if you've got 900 coins i still think they're you know absolutely incredibly balanced packs because you you can build around especially barcelona and Bayern munich you've got like three or four players that will go into your ultimate end team but i think the portuguese pack lads for 900 coins right You've got probably, I would say, maybe five players that can be in your actual end game squad, depending on your formation, depending on your play style, and depending on how good you are with certain players. But I would definitely say here that Ronaldo, Silva, Leao, Pereira, uh, Guerrero, and Cancelo, the five of them guys are definitely there that you could put into any squad and you will not be at a, a disadvantage. Like, you will be able to boss with those five players, right? Then you bring in a couple, of, a couple of other kind of hidden, not hidden gems, but you bring in a couple of guys that can do a job for you as well. You've got a really, really good center back in Pepe. Yes, he's as slow as molasses, but he is really, really solid. We'll show you him when he's maxed out. We've also got a fairly average goalkeeper in Costa. He's a bit of a weak link in this pack, but Ruben Neves is a really, really good player as well. So there's a lot of players in this, lads. We've got five or six that can just slot in. And then, you know, we're talking about those guys that can just be absolute monsters for you. You've got Leao, you've got Silva, you've got Ronaldo, you've got Cancelo who I think are absolutely, you know, unbelievable players that you can have. And these versions of them are really, really good as well. So we're going to just gloss over Costa. He's got fairly nice goalkeeper reflexes. He's got 20 levels to go. We're going to start with him over on eFootballDB.com in just a second um, and go through the players. But yeah, all of these players like are very, very solid. And I think if you are a Portuguese fan, you would be happy with this squad selection because there's a really good balance in it. Um, this guy is absolutely unbelievable, man. You can just see how good he's going to be. I've got two versions of him actually uh, on eFootball DB done up. So we're going to have a little bit of a chat about him as well. Uh, he doesn't have unwavering form. That would probably push him into the, the, the Thanos from Avengers uh, realm there. He'd be too powerful altogether. But yeah, we are going to go over to eFootball DB just to give a quick look over these. Obviously, you've got Neves there with standard form. That's what kind of balances a lot of these players is the standard form, right? But we are going to take a look at the max versions of them. We're going to do one or two up ourselves. And then obviously, Fernandez here, he's got standard form but a load of player skills you've also got Cancelo who is down as a left back he's got a wavering form he can play left right or right midfield and he's got a load of player skills as well so yeah there's a lovely mix here you've got two attacking midfielders you've got a left back you've got a right back you've got another left back that can play left or right midfield Cancelo can play left or right midfield even this guy Otavia up here He's really, really solid. He can play anywhere across middle of the pitch, except central um, areas. Like he can play AMF left or right mid. Uh, he's got a wavering form. So it gives you a lot of options, right? A lot of options. So we are going to start with Costa, right? We're going to go over here to eFootball DB and we are going to start with Costa. He's got 20 progress or 38 progression points at 20 levels. And this is what I would be recommending, lads. I always recommend reflexes up as high as you can possibly go before it starts to eat away at all, you know, a lot of the... The, the points and I would usually go to maybe eight levels each with that just to get him up he's going to go to a 91 overall look he's not the best keeper that you're going to get he's not the tallest he's not the fastest he's not the best to jump but he is a very solid keeper that you could just slot him in and he won't do you know many mistakes we also have Pepe again just to train him up here you can see here that Pepe's speed at 68 is actually not too bad it's not too bad at all right we can pump two into that and then we can pump four into acceleration but then the rest of Pepe's strengths are going to lie in his defense and just getting that aggression up so that when he wins the ball he wins the clean we're going to do eight points in that we're going to do eight points in that 
And then we're, the rest are just going to be like whatever we want, whether we want to touch up speed, whether we want to touch up acceleration, whether we want to double down on uh, defense. I would probably double down on defense there and get 99 aggression, 89 defensive awareness and 88 tackling. And you've got all the physicalities there, the physical uh, or the physical attributes that you need as well. The only thing he's missing is blocker, which is a bit of a pity. But yeah, he's a massive card as well. And then moving on to, to Pereira, right? This guy is a monster, man. Look at his defensive stats, right? I see a lot of people get bogged down. I'm going to do a video on this quite soon as well. I see a lot of people get bogged down with like getting the highest overall rating for their players. You do not need to focus on the overall rating for the player, right? Because obviously if you give, as a DMF, if you give Pereira like more defensive stats than like speed or acceleration, like he's obviously going to have a higher overall, but his individual stats might not suit your play style and it might not suit to how you want to use him in your squad. So I'm going to do a dedicated video on that because I see this like obsession with people trying to be like, oh, you know, my Cristiano Ronaldo was 92 overall and he goes up to a 95 with the play style boost. And it's like your one is only 91 overall. The reason why my Ronaldo might be 91 compared to yours being 92 overall is because I have, you know, boosted up something that doesn't raise his overall. It doesn't mean that he's a better card or a lesser card. So that's just something to keep in mind. This guy's got unwavering form as well. He's got really good player skills, blocker, interception, absolute tank. And he can play as a CB, which he goes up to a 92 overall as well, which is huge. We've also got Guerrero. So this guy was a hidden gem. I think everyone that knows uh, about this guy is probably in the know at just how good he is, lads. And look, we've trained him up in two different ways for you guys, right? Just to show you the difference, right? The first guy is 92 overall. The second guy is 93 overall. And this is a perfect example of what I'm trying to explain to people that are obsessed with the overalls and getting the highest overall, right? I have turned Guerrero, this guy, I have turned him into a left midfielder, right? He's going to have really good passing, dribbling. He's going to have very solid acceleration, and he's going to have a nice stamina and speed, like just average stamina and speed. He's not going to need to get up and down the pitch as often because he is going to be playing as a left midfielder. And his main role is going to be getting on the ball with that tight possession, 92 overall uh, tight possession, 90 dribbling, 87 ball control, and then the lofted pass of 90 with the curl 90. And we're just going to be absolutely piling piling crosses in from this guy absolutely piling him in with his left foot if you're playing him on the right flank i wouldn't recommend it um, because he can't play there but if you are playing him central he can play center mid as well you're going to have a lot a lot of chances with this guy where you can also shoot because he's got nice 82 finishing and 90 curl on the flip side if you wanted to play this guy as a left back and have him kind of like a Roberto Carlos style player or a Cafu or somebody like that, you can reduce the dribbling, reduce the passing and up his defense and up his acceleration and up his speed so that you get 90 stamina, 91 balance, 80 offensive awareness, and then you've got all the aggression and the tackling and the defensive stats that you need. So there's a perfect example, two different cards for the exact same player, depending on what play style and what position you want to play him in. He's, lads, he's unbelievable. He's nearly worth getting this pack alone. He goes to be an absolutely insane overall when you play him on the left flank absolutely incredible player we've also got Otavia or Otavia Otavio uh he's got like a really nice player form he's got unwavering form loads of player skills yeah he's definitely an addition to this squad as well we've just boosted him up as a normal uh, right midfielder so whatever I just said there about Guerrero we are going to be using the same for um this guy on the right flank. This guy can play pretty much anywhere that you, you could possibly want to play him. Uh, as you can see here, he can play in so many different positions. You can play right mid, left mid, or through the center as an attacking midfielder. And he's got loads of stuff, uh, loads of player skills, as well as track back, double touch, unwavering form. Very, very, very underrated player in the game as well, I would say. And then we all kind of go on to the guys that I think are definitely worth buying for this. You've got Ruben Neves, excellent all-round player he's also got a standard form which is a bit of a pity with this card but he goes to a 94 cmf unbelievable player lads really 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 nice player skills and he's got a lovely balance about him on the pitch as well i haven't used him enough to say whether you know it would be worth getting i wouldn't be buying this pack for ruben nevis let me put it that way right i would be buying it for somebody like rafael liao if you've missed out on any of the other versions of Liao, right, this guy is a very interesting one because if you look at him compared to his AC Milan pack, the AC Milan pack has 29 levels, but he's got minus four speed and minus one acceleration. This guy's got 20 levels, but he's got way better speed and acceleration straight off the rip. 
And you've also got the standard version, which is a bit lower as well, but he's got 32 versions. So there is a lot of ways that you could train him up um, in different ways. You could play him through the middle as a CF if you wanted to. The only thing you'd need to boost up there would be finishing. But we've just decided to max him out as a winger, lads. You're going to have an unbelievable winger at this. 92 dribbling, 82 offensive awareness, 90 balance, 93 speed, and 96 acceleration. Him and Guerrero, I think, are two of the best players in any of these packs. Like They're absolutely straight into your squad or else keep him as a super sub and have him on the bench for the second half. Like an unbelievable player. Love him. Bruno. Then Bruno and uh, Bernardo Silva are very similar players. Obviously, Silva is a slightly uh, uh, faster on the ball and stuff. You can see his balance in that is way better than Bruno's. But then Bruno has got the better offensive awareness and he's got better... Um, He's got better ability on the ball for, you know, set piece taken and free kicks and low pass and all that. He's got better lofted pass. So they're very similar players. There's been a load of different versions of Bruno, including the, the legend card and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, two very, very good players as well. They're definitely able to be slotted in. They're probably too similar to have both of them playing at the same time, depending on what formation you play. But yeah, they are very, very good players. I think this bar or this uh, Portuguese squad is unbelievable. And then we have Cristiano Ronaldo and Giao Cancelo. Ronaldo, I think, is one of the best players in it. 95 as a centre forward. We have boosted up his shooting, which goes to an 88. We've boosted up his offensive awareness, which goes to an 89. His tight possession for an 84. His header goes to 83. And then we've got the jump, 88. Acceleration, 79. And speed, 78. You might be wondering, right, his speed and acceleration is a bit low for a CF to lead the line. But no, that offensive awareness means he's going to be making some incredible runs. Now, if you wanted to, right, you could actually take this down to 80 and get away with it. You could actually take that down the aerial strength so that his header and jump is 85 and 80. And you could actually boost up this one. And then you'd have one for maybe, I would say you could even take off one for shooting as well. And put another onto dexterity there. And that would bring up his offensive awareness even more. So that you could just have that little bit of more pep in his step. Pardon the pun with the big man here. Pepe. But uh, yeah, last but not least, we've got Cancelo. That's one of the best right backs left backs right midfielders in the game this guy again can be trained up in so many different ways absolutely insane he has unwavering form he can play left back right back the left back version of him only for i have carlos i would probably play him left back and kimmy right back but yeah i slot him in when kimmy is down and then kimmy back in when he's in here um depending on you know what uh, what play style i'm playing or whatever and the ratings and their live update but yeah i mean everything you see here lads is an absolutely ridiculous card like you've got brilliant dribbling brilliant passing you don't need to shoot you don't really need to touch passing or dribbling because they're so high straight off the rip and then obviously you can just pump in everything into defense. You do have to boost up the defense a good bit. You do have to boost up his, his uh, lower body strength for that stamina and speed. But the acceleration of 88, aggression at 80, offensive awareness at 82. And then the passing and the dribbling are just off the charts as well as, you know, his uh, his balance and stamina are really, really good. So yeah, lads, I would say that this, bar this um, Portuguese pack is unbelievable. Uh, that is just my opinion on it. You've got so many good players there. As I said, you've got about four or five players that you can just slot in to uh, your, your starting 11 straight off the bat. And then the rest of the guys, you've got Liao, who's going to be a super sub. You've got, you know, Pepe, who could be really, really good at the back if it's a, if you're coming up against stronger defenders or stronger attackers such as Lukaku or Haaland or somebody like Lewandowski or Benz. So yeah, I do think that this is an excellent pack. Um... Will I be doing a review on all of these? And, and and yeah, I will. I'll probably be recommending one or two packs out of this. Probably one country and one club for newcomers in that newcomer video. But uh, yeah, that is it for me, lads. Until next time, I will talk to you later. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Peace.